Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Since we're going to be working today on the arm strands, we're going to start from warming up uh, wrists and fingers. Sit in the comfortable pose, align your spine, point your tailbone down, belly button in, stuck one vertebra on the top of each other, like somebody pulling you by the top of your head. Start slowly inhaling through your nose and rotate your wrists in. One long deep inhale, count to six or eight rotation as much as your lungs allow. When you can no longer inhale, start exhaling, reverse the rotation of your wrists and deep long exhale and inhale again. You can count to four, six or eight rotations, slow down your breath, slow down your heart and stretch all the way up. And then when you can no longer inhale, start exhaling and keep rotating the palms, wrists. And one more time, inhale. And exhale. Last one on inhale, and we're gonna leave arms on top over your head. You're gonna interlace your fingers, and on inhale, stretch all the way up. On an exhale, pull your elbow toward your waistline. Inhale up, on exhale, pull the elbow toward the waistline. In, stretch everything up, and exhale, bring your top elbow behind your back, stretch your armpit, your shoulder joint, point your elbow up, inhale, and exhale, let go and release. Inhale, stretch, exhale, let go and release. Flip your lock and continue. Inhale, stretch up, exhale, elbow to the waistline, in and out, and in and out. Stretch up and let go, pull down. Stretch up and pull down. Interlace your fingers in front of your chest. Inhale in front of you. Exhale, rotate and stretch as far as you can. Inhale toward your chest, scoop and exhale, rotate opposite way. Inhale, exhale. In toward your chest, exhale out. In toward your chest, exhale out. In, scoop out. In, deep inhale through your nose, loud exhale through your closed vocal cords. Like you're blowing on the tea. And we're gonna continue warm up with the spine. Elbow, tabletop position, elbows straight, push away. Inhale, look up into the sky. Exhale, look at your belly button. Inhale, look up into the sky, stretch your spine, stretch your belly button, and exhale, belly button in and look inside of the belly button. Inhale, through your nose up. Exhale, like you're blowing through the straw. Imagine, you have like a little lint stuck in your belly button and you're trying to blow something from your belly button. Inhale and blow. In and out. Flex your toes and push your knees up into down dog. Okay, walk from right to left. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee, stretch the back of your Achilles, the back of your calves, and point your tailbone up to the sky. Now press a little bit more into your palms, separate your fingers wide, belly button in, push your chest toward your thighs, relax your neck. Now not yes, 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 now shake your head, no, no, no. Relax your neck, let the gravity do its job, let your body release all of the tension from your neck. Inhale. On the exhale, round in your upper body and go into the plank position. Squeeze your glutes, belly button in. Inhale. As you exhale, elbows 
parallel to the body, chin to the mat. Now point your toes and push yourself up into the cobra. Push yourself away from your shoulders. Flex your toes. Inhale, exhale. Push your tailbone up. Let's speed this up a little bit. Inhale, exhale into the plank. Inhale, exhale into the crocodile. Point your toes. Inhale, exhale up into the cobra. Inhale, flex your toes. Exhale, down dog. Three more. Inhale, exhale, plank. Inhale, exhale, bend your elbows, crocodile. Squeeze your chest in between your elbows. Inhale, point your toes. Exhale up into the cobra. Inhale into the cobra. Flex your toes. Exhale down dog. Two more. Inhale. Exhale plank. Inhale. Exhale crocodile. Point your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Push yourself up. Inhale. Flex your toes. Exhale down dog. One more. Inhale through the upper back. Round and into the plank. Inhale. Exhale crocodile. Inhale. Point your toes. Exhale up, inhale, flex your toes, down dog. And now we're going to go straight from cobra, I'm sorry, from down dog. This is going to be your exhale, look in between your knees, on inhale, all the way down to the cobra. Inhale, exhale, down dog. Inhale, cobra. If you want to add a little bit more. On exhale, down dog, right toe to your left ankle, and inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog, left hand to your right ankle, and inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog, right hand to the left ankle, inhale, cobra. And one more time, exhale, left hand to the right ankle, and inhale, and we're going to stay here, point your toes, rotate your shoulder back, bring your shoulder blades together, chin in, elongate the back of your neck, elongate your spine. Now bend your right knee and turn, look at your right toes and straight forward. Inhale forward, exhale, bend your left, look at your left toes and straight forward. Inhale, exhale. Look at the wonderful picture with those sailboats. It's a picturesque, beautiful. And exhale. Try to do it with fluidity, like everything slow gliding in the water. Inhale and exhale. And inhale, last one. Exhale. And slowly lower yourself down. We're going to grab the right ankle and interlace fingers behind right toes. And inhale. On exhale, in, engage the front of the side. Pull yourself up. The front of the side is supposed to be burning because it's holding your whole body. Okay, stay in this position. And then left leg up and hold. Chin in. Elongate the back of your neck. You're facing the floor. Breathe normally. Elongate your spine from your left tippy toes to the top of your head. And relax it down. Hands under your shoulders. Push yourself back into the baby pose. Relax your forehead on your mat. Breathe. Now crawl your fingers a little bit. Inhale and on the exhale, stretch yourself forward. Like your finger, almost like as a crawling spider. Pull yourself out. Stretch more in between your tailbone and the tip of your fingers. You should be feeling stretch in your armpits around your shoulder blades and your lower back, everything from the tailbone to the tip of the fingers are stretching, including your wrists and elbows. And slowly walk yourself up, push yourself up with your hands. 
interlace your fingers in the back bring your knees your toes your heels together on inhale you're gonna press into the mat push into your arms and push your chest forward forward push your chest forward this is your inhale and chin up but not collapsing the back of the neck so inhale stretch the chest up like you're opening the sun and all the heart chakra into the sky and on the exhale very slowly you're gonna go down and touch the mat with your forehead now push your arms into the sky hold your exhale count to four now count four and we inhale one two go up go up go up into chest opening position this is your four counts don't stop here exhale four three two one now hold your breath and hold four four three two one now inhale one two three push your chest don't stop down four exhale three two hold your breath on the exhale one two three four inhale one two three four go down four three two and hold one two three start inhaling one two three push your chest up start exhaling four three two and one hold your breath one two three start inhaling last one one two three and four down four three two and one now stay here and start stretching your arms up imagine somebody grabbed you by the wrist and you're bringing your shoulder blades together and arms up and imagine somebody is pulling you toward the sky this is your chest opener this is your heart chakra bring your shoulder blades together and like some yes perfect you see how your spine now straighten up okay shoulder blades together perfect right here right there and breathe let your breathing return to normal slow it down slow down your breath squeeze together perfect And a few more seconds in this position. Keep stretching up. And slowly lift yourself up. Straighten your spine. Let go of your arms. And we're going to slowly walk into down position. We're going to now bend your left knee. And interlace your fingers. Thread your left toes behind your arms behind your interlaced fingers and now engage the thigh the anterior part of the thigh inhale with your thigh pull yourself all the way up the hip muscles should be burning because they're holding the weight of the whole upper body and tuck your chin in elongate the back of your neck and now lift your right leg now stretch everything between the toes of your right leg and the top of your head. Everything, the body is elongating, chin in, face down, the back of the neck is stretched. And let go, hands under your shoulders. Push yourself back into the baby pose. Knees together, heels together. Chest and belly is aligned on your thighs. Forehead is relaxed on the mat. And now imagine your fingers are crawling spiders. And every time you exhale, you're going to move your fingers quarter of the inch forward. So every time you exhale, you're going to stretch forward without lifting your glutes the glutes are going to stay on your heels and you're stretching in between your tailbone 
and the fingertips. And every time you exhale, more stretch, every joint, the wrist, the elbows, shoulders, everything on the armpits are stretching. Everything around shoulder blades are stretching. The lower back is being decompressed. Everything is elongating. And push your glutes up into tabletop position. And we're gonna dive in almost like a swan into cobra all the way massaging the spine. Okay, so next one is gonna be for the arms, but it's also to massage all of the internal organs and improve lymphatic flow. The breath is a little bit weird. So we're actually gonna exhale all the way up and then we're gonna inhale when we go down, but we're gonna do the line breath. So the tip of the tongue is gonna be all the way out, trying to touch the chin. So you're gonna feel like your mouth is burning, like your throat is burning. And the trick is when you go down, it's almost like the column of air slumming into your lungs. So it's gonna look like this, it's fast. So it's... So when you go in, this is your inhale. This is so counterintuitive. Start slow first. You ready? And we're gonna do 60 of those. The faster, the better, but count your own 60. So this is your inhale. Exhale. Keep going, count your own 60. Your throat will be burning. Your tongue will feel bitter. You will feel like you're dying and suffocating. That's okay. Press on your belly. Push all the way up from your shoulders. Keep protruding your tongue all the way out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Enjoying you again. And your arms should be burning by now and you should feel good massage of your abs. Keep counting. When you're done is 60, let me know. Stick your tongue more out. This is actually improving circulation in your jaw. Like there's gonna be no turkey neck because the muscle of the neck is engaged. And it's also massaging every organ in your abdominal cavity. Relax your toes, everything else is relaxed. Yes, body, upper body is where, yes, good, we're coughing, we're cleaning the lungs, we're cleaning the throat. Have you done 60? <laughs> Muscle manners. Okay, that will work too. Good. Uh, relax your, relax your hands under your forehead and just let your breathing normalize. Relax your body, let the gravity do its job. And hands under your shoulders, push yourself in the back. And we're gonna stand up in the down dog. Put 75% of the pressure into your hands and slowly start walking with your feet in between your hands. Stop here for a second, catch your breath. Bend your knees a little bit and continue walking. 70% of the weight on your hands. We're gonna go. Irina, how nice of you to join us. Welcome. You just skip all unsymmetrical stuff so you're all up to speed. And we are in inverted plank. And relax everything except your glutes. So glutes is what holding you up. Now shift all of this tension into your abs. Now abs are holding you up. Body is not moving. We're sh mindfully shifting the muscles that are engaged. Now shift all of the tension around your shoulder blades. So your back and shoulder blades are holding you up. And relax, sit down. Everybody has their socks off. We're going to grab in between each finger. 
This is very important. There's a different meridians that are not functioning properly when we are wearing shoes and especially pointed shoes. So we wanna stretch and separate the fingers. Right hand stays where it is. Release your left, inhale. Keep your gaze on your left palm. Exhale, come back to normal. Thread your fingers in between your toes. Let go of the right, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, alternating sides. And exhale, this is slow. Imagine you're in the water and you go against the water fluidity and tension. And exhale. Do it your own tempo as slow as you can, as slow as your breath allows. So spread this inhale, deep, long inhale. Stretch out and inhale. Open your chest, twist in the waistline. And then start slowly, slowly exhaling. Inhale and exhale is equal. Equal inhale. Equal exhale. Equal inhale. And exhale. And two more times. In and out. And in and out. Wonderful, press your hands, press your hands next to your hips. And I want you to push into your hands, separate your fingers wide, your body is stuck on top of your tailbone and you're gonna push yourself up and lift your glutes off the mat. And we're just gonna do a couple times, up and slowly go down, don't plump, okay? So slowly up, slowly down, slowly up, slowly down, slowly up. Now, when you master this, Separate your feet approximately two fists apart. So two fists should be fitting in between. Press into your heels, press into your heels, and press into your arms. 50-50. 50 in your hands, 50 in your heels. This is going to be your inhale. Stay here. Now, if you can, if your shoulder is feeling good today, we're going to lift right arm and shift it 45 degrees across the body. Look at your fingertips and imagine somebody is pulling you by the wrist and stretching away from your right knee. Everything is stretching between right knee and right wrist. And come back to the tabletop. Now, when you're pushing yourself back, I don't want you to sit. You're in the air, up, don't sit, and push right back. Stay here, squeeze your glutes. Adjust your shoulders, and if you feel all right, if your shoulders are strong, left hand over, 45 degree out, and everything is stretching between your left knee and left fingertips. Stretch across. Feel the stretch around your shoulder blade and your waistline, and come back. And again, when we're now gonna push back, do not sit. So it's swing back. And let's speed it up. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch across. Inhale. Come back. Exhale. Lift your glutes higher. Inhale. Swing back. Exhale. Inhale up. Left wrist across. Stretch. Hold for a second. Come back. Push your hips up. Swing back. And front. Right arm across. Hold it. Stretch out. Come back. Push your hips up. And swing back again. Left side out, stay, stretch. Come back, push hips far. One more time, each side. And up, right wrist. Come back, push up and swing back. Do not sit, you're above the air, in the air, in the air, and up, left. And down, push your hips and sit and relax. Right knee toward your chest, grab your toes. Exhale, push your thigh into your belly button, into your chest. Expel all of there. This is your exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, 
push when you're exhaling push the thigh more into abs and into your rib cage so you squeeze all of the air out when you're exhaling in out in and out one more time in and out now hold it up hold it up we're gonna with left hand either grab outside of the ankle or all the way outside of the pinky right hand is gonna be right in front of you you're gonna look at your fingertips and on inhale you're gonna rotate all the way back and you're gonna stretch in between your toes and your finger spinal twist and then exhale come back to the center inhale open exhale close now when you're doing all of this i want you to concentrate on making the spine strong and straight like somebody pushing you by the top of your head so instead of being here i want you to be here nice and tall and each vertebra is stuck on the top of each other and just a few more in and out and in and out and slowly let go of the leg grab your toes and just relax let your breathing return to normal flex your toes pull the toes toward yourself i want you to feel the stretch in calves and in achilles and under your knees and under your thighs and even under your glutes and every time you exhale imagine that the body melting into the deeper position like the ice melting into the sun on a hot summer day and slowly go up and let's do the same of the left leg so grab your left knee press it toward the like almost like above armpit like in deltoid groove okay this is your exhale <sighs> press it in like you expelling all of the air and inhale nice and tall <sighs> squeeze all air out inhale and exhale and remember we're concentrating on your spine like somebody grabbed you by the ponytail on top of your head and pulling you toward the sky and deep inhale and press your knee in and deep inhale and press your knee two more last one stay here stay here now right hand either outside of your ankle or outside of your pinky whatever feel comfortable and again get out of here it's nice and tall proud chest chin and in neck is elongated uh, left hand exhale in front inhale nice and wide open and stretch stretch in between your arms and exhale center inhale open open your chest bring your shoulder blades together twist from your waistline imagine that you have to occupy the most possible amount of space so deep wide and imagine you're underwater and you're doing this fluidity move you're flowing with the water <sighs> inhale expand and exhale relax and inhale stretch out and expand and exhale relax and just let go again grab your toes and relax let the gravity do the job if you have a little bit pillows move the pillows away move the pillows away and let stretch more under the glutes and let your breathing normalize let the gravity do its job close your eyes listen to the sound of birds and wind and water let go Submit to your body's natural capacity to be flexible, to be comfortable. Release every tension. And 
and slowly get up. And we're going to start with sitting on your right side, on your right leg, moving into hip flexibility. And make sure your heel is down and you're sitting on your heel. Now, 50% of the weight into your palms. Shift your body forward. Inhale on the exhale. Move through your arms. Do not put the whole weight of your body on your legs. Switch the side. Now, rotate your toes up and sit down. Good. Now, get up. Again, 50% of the weight on your arms. And slowly walk. Rotate your toes up. Heels is on the ground. And sit down. And again, forward. Now, now up to you. I'm going to do it without my arms. My arms are going to be in solar plexus. And I'm going to shift, rotate, sit down. This is slow. Sit perfect. Use your arm just like this. Exactly. Now we're going to move to this. Put it down. Lift it up with your elbow, push it out, push it out. Press, rotate your foot, and shift. Toes up. If you need, use your arm. Do not plop down. Slowly sit down. If you're not sitting slowly, use your arm. Knee down, knee down, knee down, knee down. Perfect. Knee up and get up. And you can use the hand on the back. Perfect. Heel down. Step on the heel. Step on. Yes. And shift. Toes up. Sit down. Use your arms if you need. Put your knee down. Knee up. Push into your knee. Open. The knee goes away from the shoulder. And shift. And if you're ready, only if you're ready, we're going to speed it up. No pause. Give me a little bit of speed, a little bit of fluidity. Ladies, only if you're ready. Listen to your body. This is not a competition. Your body is capable today. What is capable of today? Some days for me are worse than another. Some days I can do this fluidity thing 100 times. Sometimes this fluidity is not happening without my arms at all. But this is your hip flexibility good heel down perfect heel down and shift and shift please use your own speed and listen to your body it should be pleasant and comfortable and not painful at all sometimes you can crack each joint one time. If it's cracking repetitively in the same thing, stop doing it immediately. One pop is okay. One pop is actually improving uh, synovial fluid production in your joint. So one pop is good. If it's clicking time after time, you're grinding the bone on the bone or the joint on the bone, that's not good for you. So readjust. Again, one pop is good. Many pops are not good at all. And we're done. Find the center. And we're going to go into butterfly. How's your hip feeling? How's your hips? Good. How are you? Good. Okay. Grab your toes and bring your heels as close to your groin as possible. And I want you to use this as the lever, and I want you to pop your chest forward and bring all of your attention to your, um, oh my goodness, scapula. What is a scapula? Shoulder blade. Okay, bring it to the shoulder blade. So shoulder blade is a triangles, right? It looks like a triangular bone. I want you to imagine that you have a pocket jeans, and the right scapula is now trying to slide into the left pocket of the jeans. And the left scapula is trying to glide into the right pocket of the jeans. So it's look like this. You grab, you use it as a lever. You pop your chest. And then you bring your shoulder blades in a crisscross motion directing this way. 
And from your shoulder blades, now you're stretching up the back of your neck. So everything, imagine that you are, and now we're gonna flap the wings and you're trying to fly away up into the sky. Concentrate on the shoulder blade. The angle of the scapula of your shoulder blade is going to the opposite pocket of your jeans. And breathe in and out through your nose, slowly opening your hips. We're doing butterfly position. Spine is the most important thing. You're sitting on your sit bones and the shoulder blades are gliding across. And relax. Now, if you can, we're going to move into frog's position from here. So we're going to open your toes and keep your heels and uh, feet together. And I'm going to push myself up and we're going to glide on the toes. If you can do it through this, just like just get yourself on the toes. So heels together. You're standing on your toes. Now, very important how we do it with the nails. Long nails? No, okay, not a long nails. I want you to put this part of your finger, if you have no long nails, like this. Okay? Tip of the fingertips close to the nail. Like nail, you're trying to scratch the surface. If you have a nails, then you put your fingertips however you can put it. But imagine you have a claws, and the claws, like short fingernails are touching. 50% weight in your toes, 50% weight in your, I'm going to call it claws. On inhale, you're going to straighten your knees, and you're going to try to bring your nose to your knees. I can't touch my... <laughs> Knees right now, but I'm going to try. This is your inhale. On exhale, you're going to sit down and you're going to look all the way up and almost the eyes up, almost like you're trying to see the back of your head, okay? So stretching the spine. And this is your inhale. And exhale all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. And let's speed it up a little bit. In and out. Inhale, exhale, strong fingers, strong fingers, pressing into your fingertips. 50% of the weight in your toes, heels are touching, and 50% of the weight in your fingers. And now pay attention that each finger is getting the same pressure because a lot of the time we're trying to put the pressure on thumb and index finger, and pinkies are not doing nothing. So spread your weight equally in between each fingers. Pinky is as strong as the middle finger and index finger and thumb. Four more. Inhale to your knees. Exhale up into the sky. Knees and sky. Two more. And one more. Last one. Get up and hold your breath. On inhale, hold up. And when you can no longer hold your inhale, exhale and go down to initial position. I'm going to relax. Last one before our meditation. <clears throat> so we are here. You're grabbing your toes from your pinky. And level one, we're going to sit here in the balance on the glutes. You have to rotate your shoulder blades and stack your vertebra on top of each other. We are not pressing into the tailbone. We are sitting into the sits bone. So if your body want to do this and you are on your tailbone, you have to engage your abs and bring yourself here. You are on sit bones. We're not rolling and pressing into the tailbone. This is level one. If this is easy, if this is easy, we're gonna alternate the legs. Right leg out and bring it in. And left leg out and bring it in. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale now very important when you're opening the leg up 
feel where is your pressure. The pressure should be on the sit bones and you should not be rolling back into your tailbone. If you're rolling in your tailbone, please stay at level one and you can practice a little bit up and down, but without rolling on the tailbone. If this is easy, we're gonna go into level three when we open both legs up. And the most important thing, again, do not roll. You can hurt your tailbone and you can hurt your lower back if you're rolling from your sit bones backward. If you're in level three, shoulder blades down, nice long neck, chin in and elongate your spine and relax your face smile you concentrating too much good everything is relaxed everything melt into the position and we're slowly gonna lower the legs down Okay, how I'm gonna do it? I'm gonna turn my mat. We're just gonna stretch a little bit more into the split that I promise you to work on today. So this is actually already the part of the meditation. So we're gonna just start here on your elbows and relax everything. And we're gonna breathe and every time you exhale, we're gonna relax something more or move your elbows. So if I'm telling you move your elbows forward, if this is causing pain, just stay where you are. You can be here, okay? You, you want your block? Is this your block? Yes, for your elbows, put your, put your elbows on the block. Easier? Good. Even you can twist and put like higher. Yep, mm -hmm. everybody is okay? Okay, so close your eyes, relax your upper body, deep inhale, and as you exhale, imagine that you are a fire-breathing dragon. And as you exhale, you're gonna breathe your fire into the spot that is now pooling the most. And with this fire, you're gonna melt this spot. And right now you're feeling like your muscles are getting more pliable and soft, like a baby play doll. Inhale, and as you exhale, feel like this molten lava is spreading across your legs and letting go of any tension. The muscles are getting more pliable, softer, longer. Let the gravity do its job. Relax everything and imagine like everything in your body melting into your yoga mat as the cube of ice melting into the sand on a hot day. Deep breath in. Listen like the water under us is splashing. And as you exhale, express the gratitude to your body. Those muscles that have uncomfortable sensation now, they're here to protect you. Tell them thank you for doing this job, for your body being here on this beautiful day and doing all this beautiful yoga sequence today with you. Your body is phenomenal instrument. 
express the gratitude to every joint, every muscle, and every organ in your body. Tell your body that right now, in this beautiful place, and this exactly right space of time, it's okay to let go. It's okay to relax. It's okay to let go of any tension. Tell your body how grateful are you for supporting you every day, for caring you every day. Soothe your body into the peace and relaxation. Tell your muscle that right now in this moment, it's safe to relax, to stretch into deeper position. You are here to take care of your body, to protect your body. And you're extremely grateful today for every muscle, every joint, every move. You only have one body. You cannot exchange it. You cannot return it. You're here to protect and take care of your body. It's okay to stretch. It's okay to let go. It's okay to relax. Now, as your stretch is getting deeper, your muscles are letting go. Imagine you are a snow or ice breathing dragon. Inhale. And as you exhale, release this ice power and freeze every piece of pain, every piece of inflammation in your body. Deep, deep inhale, and as you exhale, imagine the coolness throwing, throbbing through your veins, letting go of every tension, every piece of inflammation, every source of pain, every source of tension in your body. Get deeper into your stretch. Now push yourself up, collect your muscles together, okay, rub around whatever is uncomfortable and just lay on your back. Palms up, now touch your toes together. And open your toes, bring your pinkies to the mat. Toes together, pinkies to the mat. Shake your legs. Now relax your toes. I want you to bring your full attention to the pressure in your heels. I want you to compare the symmetry. What part of the heel is touching the mat? How your toes are rotated? And I want you to feel the pressure with which right heel and with which left heel is pressing. And if you feel the difference in pressure or position, readjust your body to feel right and left heel in absolutely the same symmetrical position. Now bring your full attention to your cuffs. And feel the pressure with which right cuff and left cuff are pressing into your mat. And feel the area. Sometimes one cuff is a little bit more tense. And you're pressing with the more surface area into your mat. I want you to feel it today, right now, in this moment. And readjust your body so your right cuff and the left cuff feels the same. 
Now move into your glutes. Feel the pressure with which your each glute is pressing into the mat. Feel the surface area of your glutes. Is it the same? As one is pressing more than another, readjust your hips, readjust your glutes to bring full symmetry to your body. Now bring attention to your hands. Feel like the back of your hands are pressing into your yoga mat. Feel which knuckle bone is pressing or is the same knuckles on the right and the left hand. Now with your mental gaze, check your fingers. Feel if pinkies are equally curled or one is more curled than another. Now bring your awareness to the ring finger and to your middle finger and to your index finger and finally to your thumb. Compare your right and left thumb. Make sure they're equally open. Bring your attention to a forearm arm. Is it the same pressure? Is it the same surface area? If not, take a deep breath and then readjust your arms, readjust your shoulders to feel equal pressure in your both forearms and the back of your hands. Now bring attention to your shoulder blades and shoulders, how are they pressing into the mat? Compare right and left side. Deep inhale, feel your chest. Once you feel in your chest, feel if the pressure equal in the both shoulder blades. And as you exhale, readjust your body to feel the same pressure in both wrists and both shoulder blades. Now I want you with your inner gaze to measure the distance in between your right shoulder and right earlobe. And now measure distance in between your left shoulder and your left earlobe. And if you feel any difference, if one of the shoulder higher than another, deep breath, feel your lungs. And as you exhale, Readjust your shoulders to elongate your neck equally on both sides. Now re-measure the distance again in between your acromion. Acromion is the tip of your collarbone where it connects to the shoulder. So measure the distance between the end of the collarbone and your earlobe on both sides. And make sure the body is equalized. Now, I want you to stretch between your right earlobe and left toe. Elongate your body across from your right earlobe to the left toe. Extend everything. Make your body as long as possible diagonally. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, elongate more in between your right earlobe and left leg. Now, I want you to feel the difference how your left leg is now way longer than the right leg. You feel it? Your inner gaze, everything is relaxed, eyes closed. Feel your left, left longer. Now, inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to stretch in between your left earlobe and right toes. Everything diagonal, stretch it out from your left earlobe all the way to the right toe, elongate your body, feel the stretch across your abs, across your waistline, stretch, 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 and exhale, let go, relax everything. Now I want you to feel the length of your right leg from your hip bone to your toes, and compare it to the length of your left leg from your left hip bone to your left toes. And if anything feels longer, readjust your hips, readjust your body, stretch your both legs to be equally long. And now bring your full awareness to the back of your head. I want you mentally to find the center of your skull. 
right from your C7, from every vertebra in your neck, up through the center of your scalp. Feel this imaginate line running from the base of your skull, from your C color, all the way to between your eyebrows and the tip of your nose. Feel the center of your hand. Now I want you to feel imaginary line from between your tailbone and that line that you just mentally draw on your skull. I want you to stretch and elongate everything from the tip of your tailbone and to this imaginary now burning line in the center of your skull, stretch up. Now press the back of your head a little bit more in your mat. And I want you to feel pressure equally on both sides of this imaginary line. Deep inhale and relax everything. Bring your awareness to the facial muscle. I want you to relax your jaw. And I want you to touch the tip of your tongue right between, like right behind your top teeth. And then relax your tongue. So only tip of the tongue is touching right behind your teeth, on top, on the palate. And then the rest of the tongue is relaxed. And now relax your lips, your cheekbones. Relax the tip of your nose. Relax your upper eyelids and every eyelash. Bring awareness to your eyebrows. Willfully feel like every crease around your eyebrows and around your eyes are smoothing right now because every muscle is relaxing right now. Bring your awareness to the temples. Relax. Now squeeze your teeth, and I want you to feel your masseter, or your muscle that you're chewing with. Squeeze it, feel like it's tensing, and now let go. And now since you know where it is, willfully relax, let your teeth separate a little bit. Keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth, but relax it, relax your teeth, relax your masseter, relax your temporal muscles, and I'll feel like the scalp underneath your hair is relaxing. Every tension goes out of your head. The breathing is now become very superficial, very shallow and very slow. Your body is in complete stillness. You breathing so softly that to any observer, it seems like you're not breathing at all. Nothing is moving. The body is in complete stillness. Take a deep breath and expand your lungs and start moving your fingers and toes. And exhale. Take a deep breath and stretch your arm over your head and stretch in between your finger and toes out. And exhale. Turn onto your one side into the field position. Put your biceps under your cheek and relax your neck relax your body on the side and slowly push yourself up into the sitting pose and we miss the sun but we're going to pretend it's here so find spot far far away behind the bridge it can be those trees it can be any point in the cloud 
On inhale, I want you to look at the tip of your nose and I want you to try to see every hair, every pore on the tip of your nose. And as you exhale, I want you to find your far, far away spot and completely relax and unfocus your gaze. It's almost like your eyes are even half closed and it's just soft, not even focused. Completely unfocused gaze far away in the distance. And then inhale deep and look at the tip of your nose. And I want you to focus and concentrate and try to see the pores, hair, and any detail of your skin on your nose. And as you exhale, again, relax your gaze and far, far away into the distance, complete unfocus, everything relaxed. Eyelids are almost like half closed. And inhale, concentrate on your tip of your nose. And now I want you to pay attention which eye are dominant. So you will see one side of the nose are better than the other. So my is right side is dominant. So in order for me to see left side of the nose, I actually have to close my right. And then as you exhale again and focus your gaze and hold your breath and exhale, relax. And this time, when you inhale, I want you to close your dominant eye. If you cannot blink, use your hand. And I want you to see the other. Like now I'm concentrating on my non-dominant eye. And I'm now looking at the pores and hair of the left side of my nose. And then as I exhale, just completely unfocused, relaxed gaze far behind the horizon. And just two more times on my non-dominant eye, inhale and concentrate and focus. The dominant eye, you're either blinking or you're closing it with your fingers, whatever feel more comfortable. Do not strain in this point at all. If you feel like you're straining by squinting in your dominant eye, then just use your fingers to close it. And try to hold your inhale and focus and concentration as long as possible. And when you feel the need to breathe, you just exhale and unfocus your gaze far in the distance. And again, hold your exhale as long as possible. Let your heart rate slow down. When we exhale, we're activating parasympathetic, parasympathetic system. And it slows down your heart. When you feel the urge to breathe, do not hold it too much. When you feel the urge to breathe, just inhale. And again, concentrate your eyes. Hold your breath and inhale as long as you can. There is no strain now involved. It's absolutely comfortable holding breath. And when you feel the urge to breathe, you just exhale and relax and then focus your gaze. And this is it for today. Continue meditating as long as you want. Guys, online, I'll see you next week. We're here for Kundalini Yoga next week with Natalia. Have a wonderful, the rest of the Sunday.